Hello guys, welcome to BBC World and uh, like I always say if you're new to the channel please click that like and subscribe button you know don't forget that guys don't forget that I'm gonna click the like button right now man so I wanna address this uh, Jabba you know situation you know I did a video yesterday I actually went live for it because I wanted to get the reaction you know set a reaction from 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 fans you know from nigerian fans and what they had to say about it like like I'll, i've stated before you know i got um, a message from someone very close to a jabba a guy who grew up around the jabba who grew up with a jabba and knows everything about the guy you know from mugeli he's also you know his kingsman you know so I mean, as a Nigerian, I support every Nigerian fighters, you know, as you already know. And as a Nigerian, I don't support uh, cheating or anything like that has to do with lying, especially when that stuff can affect you in your career. And then you lie about it. That's kind of crazy. And then the guy told me that Jagba is not uh, 25 years old, that he's 33. And uh, after he told me that, I didn't actually believe it. I said, well, you've got to give me something like um, something to show for it, like a proof for me to believe. Because if I if I publish this news out, you know, the consequences, you know, you know what can happen. And the guy told me, well, he's speaking his mind and he's just saying the truth. And since I cannot actually confirm my Jebba's age because I'm not his dad, I'm not his parents. Uh, you know, uh, I had to do some uh, comparison comparison between me, myself, and all the people, you know, and uh, I also got a message from someone who says he knows Ajabba very well, that Ajabba is actually 25 years old and all the stuff. But the person said that Ajabba had an age of 12, was already 6 feet tall. And I'm not talking about being tall here. You know, being tall is a very different case. You know, I have people in my family who are like giants. You know, you know me. So still they're young. It doesn't matter. What matters is the the, the facial structure. You know, the physical bones. And you look at a jaguar physical structure, and look at his facial structure. You know, the guy he's not 25. You know. But there are some people who are a little bit older than their age. Uh, I don't know about that in Nigeria, but I've seen a year, for example, here in Europe. You get to meet some people, some kids who are born here, who look, um, who are very tall, big, and muscular, and other stuff, but still they are very young kids. You know that through their facial structure. You know, as for Jagba, he does not have a 25 year old facial structure. That's what I stated, and I got a lot of sticks from uh, Jabba fanboys who said, well, I'm a hater of Fafa Jabba now. I don't like Ajabba. I've been a hater because Ajabba did not give me interview and all those booyas. Listen carefully, Ajabba himself personally did not reject interview with me, that's for sure. Okay, I've heard the rumors and I heard the news. You know, I've gotten some information. It was people around him, people around him, guys like Shelly Finko, and all the guys around Ajabba who guys his career rejected the interview because they know how um, are uh, huge critics of their promotional company and they know how I'm a huge fan of uh, Matrim Boxing me being a huge fan of Matrim Boxing is different you know I wanted Ajabba to sign with the end of Matrim Boxing because I felt like the end can actually uplift Ajabba's career more than PBC are doing right now you know and uh, I'm not a fanboy of of uh, matron boxing, you know, but I just like the fact that they are they are they make their fathers active. You know, they tend to you know give their fathers opportunity to fight worldwide. You understand? So, and also you look at Joshua's career, how he's been guided by the end of matron boxing. You know, you've got to say that Ajabba has to be guided properly and promoted, but. When I did an interview with F. Tuba Apochi, he told me personally that listen, uh, PBC is the best. Uh, that if they if they ever you know want to uh, change a uh, promotional company, they're not gonna do it because PBC is the best. Ah, uh, him as the best. Shelly Finko is the best. Shelly Finko is like a father to him. 
And he said, oh, so stuff. I said, okay, it's nice. In two, three years time, I will see where your career is now. And I will compare because it's easier saying it because we've seen the career of Deontay Water. I personally don't want a Jagba to end up like Deontay Water, having 40 fights and fighting nobody. So this information coming out that Ajagba is actually not 25 years old is kind of strange because if Ajagba says that in two years time he's gonna get a tattoo shot, like in two years time he might be 30, 35, you know? If we don't know if we get a tattoo shot because uh, him, according to what I've heard so far, we not allow Deontay Water to fight after Jagba. You know what happened to Sparry. I know every time I approach it, said, well, they didn't spar. According to what I've heard so far and the proof I've gotten so far, they did spar. Okay. Ajabba himself also stated it before he left Nigeria in an interview he did with Channel Ho TV. You know, go check it out, guys, if you haven't seen it yet. So people say that I hate Ajabba. Are uh, very very uh, very very bitter, or they they out of their mind, or or fanboyism has got into their brain. You know, we are Nigerians. You know, I'm a Nigerian like you, born and bred in Nigeria. Doesn't matter where I was born, but I was born and bred in Nigeria. So I know Nigeria as I know the the, my, 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 the back of my palm. You know I me. Mean? So what I'm telling you right now is that listen, a job might be. 23, 24, 26, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know personally because I did not grow up with him. But when someone who grew up in the same area, like, like a Jack D tells me something, I've got to take it serious. You know what I mean? So it's just it's just simple. And by the way, uh, there's an upcoming interview um, today at 11 a.m. Uh, Central European time. And in Nigeria, that will be 10 a.m. So you guys should actually Stay tuned for that. Um, I want to interview uh, our own Nigerian um, superwoman, Edith Ogoke. You know, a woman who has uh, two medals. You know, won a bronze medal at the uh, Commonwealth Games in Glasgow, and I uh, won a, a gold medal at the African Games. You know, in 2015. So. Thanks for making us proud. He also competed at the summer 2012 Summer Olympics, you know, in um, in, in London, man, where Anthony Joshua won a gold medal as well. So, and uh, he will, she will be live with her today, uh, very soon, in an hour and few minutes time. So stay tuned for that and don't forget that. So what I'm trying to say is that I'm the only guy on YouTube who actually promote Nigerian fathers, you know, have gotten a lot of sticks from um, many foreign people, especially at some point where I made a video about Ajagba beating Deontay Water. I got a lot of sticks from Water fanboys saying that Ajagba is a nobody, Ajagba can't do shit, you know, Ajagba is a bomb and all those stuff. And I defended Ajagba, you know, I defended Ajagba. Even when Ajagba made some certain statement about Anthony Joshua not being an Nigerian, I defended Ajagba still. I know what happened. I know the I know the insults, you know, Ajagba had to receive from Nigerians, you know. So I defended the guy. And now that I'm saying something that is that that, that should bring an awareness for all of us as Nigerians to sit down and reason about what we do. You know, because you cannot tell me how hard it is. Ajagba did not did did not suffer the way I did. No, Ajagba no suffer the way I did back in Nigeria. And I'm going to tell you now. You understand? So I'm just telling people that know me knows how it is. But still, coming here, I had to actually keep things real because a lot of people I've met here they say Nigerians are very tricky people. Nigerians are corrupt minded, and I tell them, listen, no. No Nigerians are grown minded. Love Nigerians are very good. And when they meet me and meet my friends, my Nigerian friends, they say, Wow, oh boy, these people are very nice people. You understand? So a lot of you guys who are coming to this channel and uh harassing me, writing me on Instagram or Facebook and talking shit, you know, I think you should think twice of what you're doing. Later I'll be doing a video, you know, be doing a video about uh, the effects 
you know he for jabba is related to three years old the effect you know because there's has effects. this is this is this is this is boxing and as well this is a very brutal sport so we've seen yesterday that uh summer peter you know on his official official page that is 38 years old you and i know that summer peter is close to 50 something plus you know so he's, he's not gonna be 38 years old like that is that is that is very very inaccurate inaccurate thing to say and uh, i give my opinion as a consigned nigerian who want to see the prosperity of our nation and some people started making it about uh, me hating a jabba because Ajabba didn't give me interview or something like that listen carefully you don't know shit up you don't know the details of what happened you don't know why it's like that you know I me mean? so you have to keep your mouth shut you know how come Efetu Apochi gave an interview on Jabba not? You know I me. Mean? Ajabba people who got Ajabba's career don't like me. They try to kind of block my channel, and you know they did it. They tried. I mean, they they gave me like two copyright strikes. I had to fight it. At some point, I couldn't post a damn thing because if I did, I would have you know gotten my my channel taken off on YouTube. So thanks to the person that helped me out a very fleshy man i have to give him uh props i want to, i want to say his name but he doesn't he doesn't want me to say his name because he's like an inside source to me you know he gives me information about what's happening in boxing the boxing politics the boxing tricks and for jabba to obey his masters you know that shows to me that he's behaving like a modern slave you know I me mean? so i'm a guy who's very independent and a guy who has suffered a lot, a guy who has been through hell and back, a guy who will never take shit for no goddamn person. I know that's his livelihood. I know that uh, this guy has got his career. I feel like someone should have freedom of speech, especially you live in America. And also, recently he changed his name from uh, from the Nigerian Nightmares. Okay, he didn't change his name. He's always been one and only, but he said nobody should call it Nigerian Nightmare. Why don't you have Nigerian stuff there if you're really up for Nigerian? Like Efetua Apoche did. You know, you know, when people go to abroad, they tend to kind of uh, try to forget about where they're from. I'm not like that, you know. I've been I've been going for Nigeria for the, the past 11 12 years now and I'm seeing up as pro Nigerian as I am you know pro Ninja Ninja first you know in my opinion and I roll with Nigerians you know I roll with every nationality you know and I roll with everyone and I don't have beef with anyone people that know me in the street and know where this guy he's a real one and they know his street you know when you tell me something and uh, if you say keep a secret i'll keep a secret but this guy that told me this information he never said keep a secret he told me he said go spread it out you know i don't know if he likes a jabba or a jabba did something to him in the past i don't know but all i know is that that's what he told me and they gave me proof of it so why all those insults and people are kind of commenting and threatening me or something like that guy you know if you do anything only one call i go make you van you van you vanish for this world let me tell you now only just one call i go make for idiot you just vanish believe me so so don't try to me with bullshit because i'm not a guy you can just push something like that i keep this real i i, I try to be myself you know, i don't want to be someone else you know so i'm just i'm I, I i had to do that video because i wanted to bring an awareness you know for us as nigerians to discuss it it seems like you guys some of you guys don't want to hear the truth yeah, someone is saying that I, I, I'm an AJ fan, but of course I'm an AJ fan. Why not? He's a Nigerian, so I have to support him. Joe Joyce is Nigerian. Uh, Lawrence O'Callaghan is Nigerian. I support every Nigerian athlete, every Nigerian decent. Anyone who is Nigerian worldwide, I support him. And that's why I actually went against um, Ajabba's comment regarding Andrew Joshua not being a Nigerian. Because he cannot tell me now that if he has a child in America with his girlfriend now, American girlfriend, and he will say his son is, is is american like nationality is different from heritage is just do different things anyone can be a citizen of any country but we all know what happens when it comes down to the judgment day you know that people will not claim you as their own even though you have the passport even though you've lived there you're born there you know that so joshua in prison nigeria is the best in ever and joshua also 
has the right to even deny Nigeria because he wanted to represent us and what happened they turned him down like he should be the one even complaining and bashing our country instead this guy is the one uplift uplifting Nigeria you know go to his press conference go to his fights always presented the Nigerian, uh, the Nigerian flag always flying it high when has a, a Jagba done that I don't know so more than more they think before they talk you understand so I don't want to hear any 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 rubbish you understand I don't want to I don't want to block I don't want to block people like that because I feel like you guys supported me but if you are now becoming a fanboy of one particular fighter because I say something which is very realistic and should be discussed intellectually then you are not a fan of boxing and you've never been a fan of boxing I'm a I'm a boxing fan I've been a fan of boxing for a very long time I'm a boxing reporter a boxing analyst and when I hear some news I bring awareness to it and the guy who told who gave me the information knew that I'm the only one who can actually bring awareness to it because he's telling me that a lot of our Nigerian fathers, you know, uh, are not really saying they are re-aged and it's kind of crazy. It says that's going to affect our sport and it's affecting it because at an age where we, we should be developing our young talent and come because someone is older than this guy, they just say, okay, because you're older, you get the position instead of the younger guy who can do, who can learn and learn more, you know, it's just kind of crazy and I don't like those injustices. That's why I brought a very own... Um, I brought an awareness to this particular issue for well, Jagba, I don't know his re age I don't know if he's 25 I don't know if he's 33 you know until he proves us otherwise I'm gonna keep this stuff this topic going on you know understand so that's a, this is the right is when I talked about Luis Sotis being 60 years old 59 years old none of you guys said anything even the, the, you, you couldn't say anything because I talked with his I spoke with his cousin and I spoke with his other cousin and he told me the truth you know I speak Spanish you know what I'm so like I said I know many languages you know I've been to so many countries I know a lot, a lot about people and I tend to be very logical you know in things that I do and say so that's it for now guys if you like this video you know click that like button of course subscribe if you like what I'm saying if you like if you want to hear some re stuff if you want to hear some re boxing stuff you know click a like to this video right now and also don't forget to join me very soon you know in a couple of minutes time i'll be uh, going live with um edit ogoke the nigerian superwoman man most support our ninja our ninja brothers and sisters worldwide now i don't want to ask you know stand only one i don't want to do now let me want to try to promote our nigerian bosses so like the video guys share um please don't forget to subscribe like i always say and uh, go follow me on instagram at boxing block center and as well on twitter at boxing block cheers everyone